Mali American man is reported to be the second U.S. national killed while fighting alongside militants in Syria. A TV station in Minneapolis identifies the man as Abdirahman Mohammed, who left the area to fight for Islamic State, also known as IS. The station says Mohammed died in the same battle as Douglas McCain, also from the Minneapolis area, whose death was confirmed by the U.S. earlier this week. We get more developments from VOA's Clara Frank. The mother of an American journalist being held by Islamic State militants has pleaded with the group's leader via a videotape recording to release her son. I've learned that Islam teaches that no individual should be held responsible for the sins of others. Stephen has no control over the actions of the U.S. government. He's an innocent journalist. I've always learned that you, the caliph, can grant amnesty. I ask you to please release my child. The Islamic State group beheaded American journalist James Foley earlier this month and is threatening to kill Sotloff if the United States does not stop carrying out airstrikes on militants in Iraq. Without giving specifics, White House spokesman Josh Ernest said the Obama administration is doing everything it can to seek the return of every American who is currently being held in that region. Also Wednesday, Peter Theo Curtis, another American journalist who had been held hostage by Syrian militants for two years, spoke publicly for the first time, saying he was overwhelmed with emotion after learning how many people across the world had worked for his release. The joy of his release has been tempered by a United Nations Commission report which says mass atrocities continue to take place in Syria as Islamic extremists grow more powerful and foreign fighters enter the war. A new UN Commission report says the impact of the war is no longer confined to Syrian territory. The Commission report comes a week after U.S. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel said the threat posed by Islamic State extremists to global security is, in his words, beyond anything we have ever seen. Clara Frank, VOA News, Washington.